Welcome, welcome back. So, it's time, just checking out bottom to see if everything, everything's good. Um, I won't turbo smooth it anymore because I think this looks quite industrial as is. Uh, there's a bit of bad mark down there, but that's, that's whatever. So, now I'm going to do the reds. So if you want to go into top view, top view. I'm going to shift splines and circle, I think, is the correct one. I'll have to... Yeah, for some reason the uh, line looks really bad here. So I don't know. Make it that big. Let's move that up right to where we actually want it. Out here, realize it's a bit. Oh, and yeah, my mic might be a little bit louder than usual. If we just increase the radius so that it is outside, and then we can also open rendering, enable render, enable viewport. And now that's a bit big, isn't it? Actually, narrow down the ships to about. It. Let's, let's lower the thickness down. Go down to through. yeah, twelves are right. And then we can change the radius and just bring it, bring it back in. Now this is still out of out of shape, so it's not exactly cylindrical, which is annoying because I don't really know how that happened. Uh, I think it's because of adding the uh, extra lines in the front view. That's fine now, we can add a little poly for that. Now, let's just shift and click up a little bit like that. And set about six copies. And then we have our rims, rims here. If my mic, not mic, oh yeah, if my mic is a little bit too loud, you can just, you know, turn your volume down. You know what we're going to do? We're going to attach all these together. Then, actually, let's collapse this. Just attach them. They have, oh, got to go on this. Perspective. And now we have rims, threads even for the uh, thing. See, I'm just going to quicken this up uh, just a little bit because I kind of want to get st get stuff done. What we could have done is actually isoline, isoline display on Turbo Smooth, but that's the point. I'm going to show you how to use Material ID down here. Now let's. We get all that and clear all auto smooth just so it's easier. Now this looks a little bit nicer. Anyway, right, material IDs concerned. I'm just going to text you this inside my. I like all of them. Control, I like all of them. Got um that's displayed. So we can set an ID to two because it's gonna be the second measure that I'm gonna text you and we can control I and select everything else. That would be material ID one. Problem is I don't want this to be yellow as well. So <clears throat> we can just control I just select these. Select all of them. Actually, just uh, I'm go to top view. And we can alt select everything around.
Dog's going crazy next door. It's probably because I have a fucking hand. Uh, switch, oh, wrong one. Which annoys me, by the way, because I know they're both working next door, but. Sleep dog by itself in the fucking house. I'm gonna quickly manually deselect all these. Let me just quickly just alt alt click all the way around. Probably sure there's easier ways, but it's just me modeling here. Yeah. And set that to three. Now you have Three separate material IDs. Whoops. Um, save. On the same object. Which is coming along nicely. Now, to do the actual uh, volume tube on the, the side that tells you how much laughter or scream you have in the canister. Now, for this, uh, we're going to. Oh, not move any of them. And select. All four of these, pardon me. And. Ooh, I need this back to. Probably. Is alright, because nothing else has changed. So if these select, because I'm gonna do it on this side. It's only one of the sides, so. We can inset that by a good, good margin. Not that big. I'm quickly gonna actually select. Um, wow, 666,000. And let me just pull these together just to make it a little bit, a little bit neater. shape effect does that have it on? Nothing's fine, we can just go back and uh, once again do the smoothing thing. <laughs> I just forgot what it was called. I'm gonna bevel not outwards because that's just weird. Bevel this in up there. Ooh, that looks jagged. What went on there? Oh, I didn't connect them, Jesus. I weld them together. Oops. Just kind of pulled it in a little bit weird. Which bevel one should re remain the same bevel. Like that. Which is uh, fine. No, I'm just going to hide that. They're all, all smooth. Just to maintain smoothness around the edge. Uh, oh, Jesus. So now I have that inset. And it's now time. I need to quickly pull up the reference images because this is a new day, of course. <clears throat> Still weird that's in other weapons. So if we look at it, we've actually got a rim, then a rim inside, and then three triangle prongs inwards which is fine because the triangles you can literally just add in prongs but for the tube I'm actually going to put a tube in you need to go back to objects cylinder the top pull upwards don't really need to go on my frame for this you just need to find out where it is in the thing. Pull it inwards. And then do this. Now we just need to position it. Then draw it. Like that, and then we just in. Like 
once again, just like the uh, previous build the hedge maze. I'm not going to say this is going to be film accurate. You know. So, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. So let's get them down. I think I might actually use the uh, box. Because that way I can just chamfer the uh, edge. I'm not gonna name any naming any of these. Also, quite frankly, the uh pardon me, sorry. Texturing is gonna be a little bit off as well, but that's that's just fine. Pull that out. And just pull this out a little bit. That. Grab these two, just pull them in like that. And then if you just go straight back to right viewport, perfect. And actually grab the whole object, drag it, <clears throat> and drag it to where we think that is. Drag it to the middle. Then we can attach all three of them together. Drag. Instead of mirroring, just because I'm going to flip it. Because mirroring would mean that a pulled side is going to be a little bit off. Of which it is a little bit off actually. You know it can be solved is just by pulling selecting pulling objects around. So there's that tube vaguely connected. <clears throat> and what I'm gonna do is also grab this, grab that, grab that, grab that, just hit grow times just so we get that and that will be material ID four these will be separate uh, separate materials although these are although these will be the same material as material three and that'll just be its own material which I'll which I'll work out later that's probably so we highlight everything be non-specific here, I like everything I can't. <laughs> Let's just grab these. Object, of course. Of course. Ah, for some it was the end of the world. For me, it was Tuesday. I don't condone watching a Street Fighter. <laughs> right. Obviously I'm guessing because it saved uh, my Renderer should be mental rear. Those are jaws. It's not. Uh, let's get, just get mental rear on there. And now we've got mental rear. Jesus. I really need to look out, switch into perspective. Whee! Obviously, a better way of texturing this would be to go into Photoshop and lay the textures out as, as is. And obviously, uh, detach different parts instead of just adding material ID. So we just add a UV map. Jesus. Because it's 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 a hell of a it's a hell of a mess to uh, sort out. And obviously when you render it you can get a whole different plethora, plethora of different things. Obviously let's unwrap these as well. This is a very unprofessional thing. Which is annoying because I should be more professional. At least try, at least, because I do want a job at some point. These are much easier to texture just because they're very simple, simple shapes. If this was more of a simple shape and I had, and I had put it in isolating display during Turbo Smooth, it would look a lot cleaner as well. 
But I didn't. So in for now there's some Dragon Stairs is. As he's um so that's all the materials. Let's do that. So instead of choosing different materials like we did uh, previously to choose the actual wood textures and stuff, it has a multi sub object which we'll add on just to that and then it's all separated out into different things. So that's canister. I can't spell canister. Does it have two ends or one end? I don't know. Canister, the second one should be uh, spaces. That one should be uh, rim. Rim. And did I label that as four? Can't tell. I guess I'll find out. Uh, anyway, if I didn't label this as four, then it'll be fine. It'll just be the same color as the rim. So let's. Uh, obviously the canister is going to be yellow, but I want to be yellow metal. So if you scroll way down to metal, let's uh, quickly have a look what the foil goal looks like, shall we? Just press F9 render. I think that's very too, very too weird. Mm -hmm. Let me get cast aluminium. Can we change the color? We can change the color. Change it to like bright yellow. Let's have my render. Oh. Okay. Some materials have a little bit of a pain with uh, color. And it does get annoying. Mm -hmm. Like iodized red. Can we change the redness? We can change the red to a yellow. Let's make it a more vibrant yellow. Iodizing aluminum, aluminium. That looks sharper. Looks good. I think that'll do for now. Just go back to parent, go back, spaces. Spaces is going to be. It is black. Look, look. Hey, get in it. Looks good. Let's check the top as well. Obviously, black will render just black at the minute. Ooh. Uh, go back to parent. Remember the rim. Now I want to make this a really. Different color. I want. I want first blue silver. Just, just to make it uh, different to the actual thing. See, we've not got a nice, a nice. But I didn't put that as four, which is good. Which means, or three even. Which means we can go to four. Like back. Change that to also brush blue. Have a look at that. See, that looks, looks alright. Now, these uh, should also be that, but I think I'm going to make it that anyway. what that looks like. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Looks good. And this I'm going to quickly unwrap. UV. And this shouldn't shouldn't look much, but there you go. And this we can actually unfold mapping because it's literally a cylinder. Now we get the full cylinder net and the two heads, which makes it a little bit cleaner. It's because it's literally just a cylinder. <clears throat> now before we do this, I want to go into right view. Just get these polys. Please. Can I get these polys, please? Oh no, because I'm unwrap. I'll have to unwrap that now. 
in a in a jiffy. Yes, this is gonna drag a little bit longer. But you know, better two parts, one a little bit over than having three parts where the last video was literally five minutes long. Just a bit better. There we go. Now what I wanted to do was add another cylinder in. Put a wireframe for this. Don't know why I make, made it this big. Don't know why it always wants to make it this bloody big for no reason. Put that inside the tube. Let's give it some height. Let's put it down here as well. a little bit more height than that Let's put it there now for those of you which don't know what I'm doing you'll be able to work it out pretty quickly so now I've got oh, maps F4 whoops smooth operator this will be not that but it will be glass it will be yeah height and then we can render that in its own time, and then we have a glass tube there. And obviously, when we put in, I'm gonna actually change that refraction as alcohol. I'm gonna change this to a uh, liquid indoor pool. I'll change that. So instead, I'm going to make another glass of a clear amber. Let's give it a red, red tinge, dark red tinge. That's that, and then we can slide that back in about there ish. And then we can render it just quickly. I think that needs to be a brighter. Brighter red, much brighter red. I almost the brightest red we can actually get. This is red there. That goes in volumes. So we zoom a little bit closer. So then we have some volume to it there. All we do is just attach all that together. This is fine. This is group it. Group it as screen. Screen can. Ice cream. Let's quickly save it. And that's that build done. Obviously, you can check from a different view. And obviously you can go in into Photoshop with the rendered template, rendered UV, and just you can put on all the one sign stickers and stuff that you can find on, on the uh pardon me. Find on the reference material like here. The stickers that go around and that and the bars that go across and obviously the one signs and stuff. But you know, it's up to you. I know this episode was a bit longer, but yeah, you know. I'm tired. I really need to go in the shower as well. And at least have a drink. Because I'm not feeling up to scratch today. I'm sick as a chip, man. I'm sick as a chip. Anyway, uh, I will see you in part whatever of something else. Of course, in this series, because I'm finding this a lot more uh, fun and talkative than crashing my capture card over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So, anyway, bye-bye. I don't know how to end things. Bye.